Here in the photo the camera flash created red eyes. So in this video I show you how to remove red eyes with GIMP. It's very easy. First we click through the procedure once. After that I will have some additional tips and techniques. My name is Heiko Neumeyer. So in the toolbox on the left you switch to the zoom tool and drag across one eye. It will appear enlarged, you can fully see the red eye. In the toolbox to the top left switch to this ellipse select tool and select the red pupil. You can refine this selection. Drag inside the selection to reposition it. And drag the corner handles to change the size. Now I go to the other eye and in the tool options here at the bottom left I click on this second icon Add to the current selection. Only then I select the second pupil. I press the minus key on my keyboard to zoom out a bit. Then I open Filters, Enhance, Red Eye Removal. The threshold here should often be between 50 and 100. Click OK. Now you see the corrected eyes in the main window. If you like the result, click Select None. Now you know the procedure, but I still have a few additional tips. I will first revert the image to the original state. So here we are, back to our red eyes. If you shoot a portrait frontally, meaning you don't photograph from the side, the pupils will form exact circles, they will not be oval shaped. So you could set your ellipse select tool to create perfect circles, not just some kind of ovals. For that you go to the tool options here at the bottom left and click on Fixed. The menu here should say Aspect Ratio and in this field you type 1 to 1. Now if I drag over an eye I will get a perfect circle. In your first result, did you see hard edges between the pupil and the iris around it? If so, you should try again and create a selection with a softer transition. If the selection is already in the image, you take Select Feather with a small value like 2 or 3. You can also create a feathered selection right from the start. For that, you go to the toolbox at the bottom left and click on Feather Edges. Now you set a value like 2 or 3. After that, create the selection. We still have the black white selection marquee in our image. Sometimes you just want to hide this black and white marquee, but without actually removing it. It should only be hidden. If you don't want to see these so called marching ants, click on View Show Selection. Now you can better judge your image. Yet the selection is still in place and active. You can also save a selection and later load it back into your image. That's the command Select Save to Channel. The toolbox here on the top left is a bit confusing, but to activate any tool you don't really need this toolbox. Turn on tools such as the Ellipse Select tool simply like that. Open Tools. Selection tools and make a choice. Perhaps you also don't see these tool options here at the bottom left. If they are missing, click on Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Tool Options. And another way to get the tool options double click on a tool in the toolbox. Now you know how to remove red eyes very easily with GIMP.